Great news, Mr. Jenkins. Oh, yes. Well, let's see what you have come up with then. Well, before I reveal these unheard of numbers, I would like to confirm with you that you do indeed want to go home in this nice, sleek, recall-free, state-of-the-art, limited edition, super comfortable, amazingly fast, surprisingly reliable, yet economical vehicle today. And I only want to verify that so I can make sure that the lucky person receiving this deal is going to be leaving here completely satisfied. So, Mr. Jenkins, is this your new vehicle? Sean, just show me the fucking numbers. I told you that I did not want to play any of these mindless games with you. So, before you reveal this amazing offer, I just want you to know that I have done my research on this vehicle. I know what the book value is on my trade, because my wife's, brothers, friends, aunts, cousins, dog sitters, proctologists, plumbers, stepson is in this business. So you had better be sure that this is your best offer, or I will go to your competitor to purchase. Okay. Well I assure you that this is indeed the best offer. You would be hard pressed to find a dealership willing to go half as low as we are. So without further delay, here is your deal of a lifetime Mr. Jenkins. Well well well. Mr. Jenkins, you have been looking at that piece of paper for quite some time. Is something wrong? Why yes there is something wrong here. These numbers are astronomical. I asked you for the best numbers and you bring me this. What do you take me for? A fool? And my trade is worth three times that amount. You think you are real slick don't you? I will however give you one more chance to give me the best numbers, or I will leave. Mr. Jenkins, I understand that you may be intimidated by these numbers, but I assure you that these are the absolute best numbers available. I have even given your dealer invoice as proof. You will be buying this vehicle for the same price we did. And yes it is a lot of money, but you will be driving off in one of the newest, safest, and most envied vehicles on the market. As far as your trade goes, we offer fair market value for all of our trades. We do this every day, and I do believe as a result, we know what we are doing. However our wholesaler is here today so maybe I can have him take another look. He would be willing to buy it for more, if he knew, that he would be getting it today. If he is truly here why didn't you ask him before? I told you that I wanted your best numbers. You know what, since you are obviously not competent enough. The reason no doubt that you are in sales to begin with, I will just give you the price at which I will be purchasing the vehicle today. Here you are. So let me get this right Mr. Jenkins. You want to go home in this brand new vehicle and pay less than half of what we paid for it? Yes, and I would like 2000 extra for my trade on top of that. That is what edwards.com said is a reasonable price to pay and also what my wife's, brothers, friends, aunts, cousins, dog sitters, proctologists, plumbers, stepson said is the actual value of my trade. Mr. Jenkins, you do know that you are not going to get this price right. You are calling me incompetent and here you are asking me to sell you this brand fucking new vehicle for maybe 10% of what I paid for it and you want me to give you more for your trade than it was worth new? Which by looking at it was probably 400 years ago. Mr. Jenkins. The vehicle you are looking at is rated number one in its class. It is the safest and most reliable on the market. This vehicle will hold its value 30 times better than anything else on the market. These numbers that you have offered are nonsensical. The numbers we offered are more than fair. I will try and get you a little more for your trade. But I need you to be reasonable. Do we have a deal? It's okay Sean. I really am not interested in this vehicle. My wife is currently next door at the Mia dealership finalizing the paperwork for our new vehicle, and I just got bored so I thought I would come over here and have some fun. And we are not trading in that piece of shit, we are going to give it to my son who is learning to drive because if he wrecks it, well let's be honest, who cares? Anyway thank you for keeping me occupied. Have a great day, I hope you sell a lot of vehicles. 
What the fuck?